It's time for board game trivia, and Cax, our defending champion, will face <laughs> off against the challenger, NATO. Play along <laughs> with us and see if you can take down the legendary tactics team. Okay, lads, we have to, we have an important decision here to start with. Oh. One of you gets the giant dice, one of you gets the golden. How about whoever gets the first question right gets the gets, oh. gets their pick. Gets their pick. Gets their pick. I like it. Okay. Yes. So this is pretty straightforward. I'm going to be offering fairly broad clues to start, and we'll be narrowing down, getting more closer and closer to uh, what the name of the game is. The first one to say, you don't need to buzz in. You just name call out game. the answer. Okay. Now we want you to you to challenge these two. So play along with us from home. If you score yourself a point, if you beat them to the answer. Okay, first one to 10 points wins. The last question will be a tiebreaker in case any of us are tied. Okay, sounds good. All right, All right. Let's, do it. let's rock. Ready to rock? Yes. Uh, oh, and glory is on the line. Yes. Oh, For glory. sure. Okay. And bragging rights. And bragging oh, rights, and big time. Okay. <laughs> yeah. The first game came out in 2017. It's limited to one to four players. Uses modular boards. It's a campaign game. Gloomhaven. Oh, you get your pick of the dice. Nice. <laughs> okay, okay so uh, set that to one, <coughs> and you haven't gone. you haven't earned your dice yet, Nate. No, so. I haven't earned. Oh it yeah, yet. aim it to the to camera. I love that. Yeah. They yeah. can see your score then. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna hold on to this Bing. in case yes. NATO doesn't win the <laughs> dice. <laughs> Grab it. Very good. Yeah. My last clue for that one was gonna be the publisher is Cephala Fair Games. Yeah, oh, yeah. That oh, that would have that would have given it away. Yeah. Okay, ready for question two? Yeah. This is a strategy game. It was a nominee for Spiel des Jahres in 2014. It actually came out in 2013. It's set 2,000 years ago. The Stone Age. The, keep guessing. The box art features Caverna. a brown-haired woman in a toga with a purple sash. And she's handing something to um, Carcassonne. A, a fellow, mm. some kind of market guy. Mm. Concordia. Uh, wrong year. Nate wins. You get your one. Concordia is it. A purple sash. <laughs> yes, indeed. Don't yes. cheat to four. Little tiny one. <laughs> uh, next clue was it's set in the Mediterranean. Yeah. I would have asked you, uh, there's a card in hand called the Prefect. Yes. And would, there's yeah, a digital be... edition of the game. Yes. I think that would have done it. Okay, on to number three. It's a tie game here. This is a game for one to six players. It's a Days of Wonder game. It's a racing game from 2022. Camel up. Heat. It heat. Close. Heat pedal to the metal. Oh! <laughs> I don't know who I give that to. <laughs> or heat pedal to the metal. <laughs> That's a, That's tough, a call. tough one. <laughs> Technically, oh, he you know said what? Heat. He said I think, it, he I said think heat. pedal to the metal is. I'll take. Actually I'll take that. heat. Oh! Subtitle. Yeah. It's the subtitle. <laughs> Flipper yeah. to a two. Yeah. That's... <laughs> okay. That was good. Uh, I was going to describe the box art with the green and yellow race car crossing oh, okay. the finish line. Yeah. And then I was going to say that your car can't overheat. Oh, <laughs> That's my is. final clue. <laughs> Okay, and by the way, our channel is always trying new um, experimental ideas and um, trying different kinds of content. If you appreciate that, then we'd certainly love it if you would support us by subscribing, liking the video. So, mm -hmm. okay, let's move on to number four. Okay. This is the best-selling board game of all time with three Settlers of Catan. million units being sold Picture yearly Monopoly. in the U.S. alone. There's 400 different possible positions after one Checkers. move apiece. Chess. Chess. There you go. Take your point, Nato. <laughs> yeah. You <laughs> <laughs> and the next interesting clue I was going to give you was that uh, the person who who came up with the idea of the folding board was a priest who wasn't allowed to play chess. Oh. And he made a folding board because when it's on the shelf, it looks like two books side oh. by side. Oh. So, clever, clever. Nice. And then I would have said initially the queen was only allowed to move one square at a time. Oh. And then eventually she got where she could move multiple oh, squares. Interesting. Okay. 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 We're on to number five. This game came out in 2011. It's for two to four players. It's a predominantly brown box. It takes a very long time to set up. Major Knight. One player controls the free peoples, and the other takes the shadow armies. Shows Camelot. And you have to watch out for Sauron in this game. War of the Ring. <sighs> Second edition. Second edition. Second edition. Yes, yeah. NATO takes it. Oh. <laughs> to add that last bit. Yeah, very man. good. I was out of clues after that, yeah. so I'm yeah. glad one of you got it. Yeah. Very good. Okay, number six. This is a game that neither of you have played. I don't know about you. Hmm. One to four players. It's from 2020. It's number 28 on the Board Game Geek. It's a deck building and worker placement game, which is meaningless to you if you've never played it. Yeah. It's from Czech Games Edition. It's set on an uninhabited island in uncharted For seas. Keep going. Your goal is to find lost artifacts. 
Forbidden Island. The box has lots of greenery on it and an explorer who looks Earth. a little bit like Indiana Jones. L L Arnok. Lost, Arnok. Ru Lost Ruins of Arnok. I'm giving it to Cax. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Very good. Yes. One that okay. I want. Oh, wait, we? We're tied 3-3. Three, 3-3. Three. Three, three, three. Three. Coming right. down to it. Okay. On to number seven. This game is ideally played with seven players. It's Diplomacy. set in Europe. <laughs> Correct. Oh, Nate wins oh, it. Yes. <laughs> nice. Did you beat him to that one? <laughs> uh, and I was going to tell you that John F. Kennedy originally, this was, um, the Avalon Hill claimed that this was his favorite game. Yes. Wow, so, very cool. Um, I know you would have got it yeah, on that yeah, one. For sure. And my last clue would have been watch out that you don't get stabbed. <laughs> 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 okay. Number eight. And you're ahead by one, eh, Nato? Yeah. By one. Okay, this is the most expensive board game ever sold. It was five million dollars. It was studded with 60,000 white, black, and yellow diamonds. There's a lot. It came out in the year 1630. Checkers. It's a roll and move game. Parcheesi. <laughs> and it's an abstract strategy game. Um, and it uses a doubling and cube. Baggerman. Cax wins it. Oh, yes. backgammon! Nice oh, back doubling yes. cube gave it away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't sure we. You put a video out on that. Yeah, so yeah. I, I, thought, like, yeah. 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 Good. Good. I should have gotten that one. I should have gotten that one. It's all right. Sure. That ties it up. So four, that makes four, it interesting. Four. Okay, number nine. Uh, so the next game is number forty-one on the Board Game Geek. The publisher is Whirly Gig Games. It came out in 2019. It's for one to five players. It's a tableau builder. This is a second edition of the game. It has a purple box with just text and no images. Pax Mirror? Second Pax edition. Mirror? Yes, oh, Pax, Pax Mirror. pulls it out. Goodness. Jeez, Nicely done. Yes. <laughs> yes. That was a good guess. Okay, oh, NATO. I realize that if it goes to yeah. six, there's a grand champion. Oh. The champion maintains. Yes. <laughs> That's right. That's yes. Come on, NATO. Come All on. Right. I gotta okay, you got to gotta win yeah. this one, Nate. Okay, so this is the one where you're going to give me a number this time. Okay. All right? Uh, and if you get it, I'm going to have to go to a second tiebreaker. Okay. Uh, just, uh, just in case you're tied to, I mean, make your guess and I'll give you a bit of a pause. So uh, tell me, in what what year did Mahjong, um, when, when, when was it invented? So you can just, uh, we can both just say your year. When was it invented? It was, I'm gonna say 1885. Okay, Cax, what do you say? 1805. 1805? Okay, the winner's gonna be NATO. Yeah. Um, they say it was middle of the 1800s, so 1850 is oh! when it's credited. And that's yeah, it became board. really popular in the 20s. Yep. That's when it was in its hey heyday with Parker Brothers. Absolutely. Yeah. So, okay, so we need another so tiebreaker. Tiebreaker. All right. Okay, this, this one's easy. What's my favorite game? Kemet. No. Oh, wins. Just ahead. Kex wins. Just ahead. <laughs> awesome. Fantastic, right, boys. Uh, that was cool. Kex, congratulations was cool. on the win. It was after you got the giant dice. So. Yes. Uh, That's true. Let us know if you were able to beat these clowns, and uh, we certainly appreciate you being here. So get out there. Get gaming. And be legendary.